divided up into three fairly even pieces, groups. A twist towards the inside. Oh yeah. And if somebody's holding it, you can keep straightening it out. But now what's going to happen? Usually I wait a day or a few hours before I braid it because the grass will dry and shrink. Um, that's why I like to make them really tight, um, especially if you're doing them while they're fresh because they will shrink and get looser and they're only, they always look nicer when they're tight. Now, so what you're saying is all of ours are not going to look professionally done until tomorrow. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, just do them tight now and they'll okay. look good. You kind of have to compensate for yeah. the fact that they're going to shrink. I know there are always little pieces sticking out along the way, and that's fine. Once it dries, you just snip them off with scissors. This is supposed to be a relaxing experience. <laughs> <laughs> Stressing me out over there, yeah. She needs tobacco leaf. <laughs> Hand starts getting tired. You? Yeah. I'm good. When? Your hand will be tired. No, my, my hand starts yeah. getting tired. Yeah, you're okay? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. <laughs> so this is pre my development. Pre idea. Well, mine's not working. Mine looks like a vegetable cartoon. It's easier when you have someone to hold it because you can pull against it and keep it straight. Uh, when you're doing it by yourself, the pressure varies from braid from turn to turn and it zigzags. So it's better to wait till it dries before braiding it? It's better to wait a few hours for it to dry a bit. Well, Mom, if you're going to you wait till tomorrow, then you should put it inside a bag or cover it lightly. Mom, will you do mine? You don't have a bag? Sure. Do you want me to hold when it? Get home? Yeah. I'll hold that. Or cloth? I don't have a bag. Okay. I have this little thing like no, it's a shopping bag. I shopping bag. Okay. So you never uh, braided my hair when I was little, but your braids Oh, yes, I did what braid else? your hair. Okay. Then I'm just so, so as it gets smaller and narrower, you want to keep in mind that you want to tie it off. So you want to leave enough um, material so that you can create a knot. And to create a knot, We'll twist it again, but we'll twist all three of them together. So hold on to it. Go, mommy, go. And what I like to do is, actually, I like to put the knot at the, you know, so I can hold it more. This is going to be a little thicker than mine. <laughs> So that's a nice strong knot. It's not going anywhere. So you could hang it from here too. Excellent. But basically, yeah, and while it's damp, you want to straighten it out, put it in a flat area to dry so it dries flat and try and keep it as straight as possible. There we go. Voila. Actually, we don't even need the loop here. Just uh, all we need is to tie, tie it so it doesn't open. 